Hello and welcome to Gundam Breaker 4. A game so nice, I bought it twice. That's that's a true story. I bought it for Steam and I bought it for the Switch. Got the collector's edition so I could get that Gundam model kit. I'm a big fan of Gundam. You have seen my Dynasty Warriors Gundam series that I had going on. Uh, I build Gundam model kits. I enjoy doing that. Um, Gundam Breaker 3 was on the PlayStation 4, but it was only released in Japan. And when Gundam Breaker 3 was only in Japan, I thought, you know, that's a bummer. This looks like a really cool game. I wish it would come to the States. Come to find out that the PlayStation 4 is not region locked and that there are English subtitles in Gundam Breaker 3. I went out and I bought that game and I played that game and I enjoyed every moment of that game. It was really, really well made, really well done, really well designed. I had a great time playing it. And then they come out worldwide with new Gundam Breaker. And that game was disappointing. Like the story was still pretty funny, but the combat mechanics, the build mechanics, the abilities that you would get from parts and stuff like that, they changed a lot of what Gundam Breaker was. And it was just disappointing. I didn't enjoy doing any of the combat. Um, I didn't like the fact that you were kind of like forced into using certain parts to do abilities because in three, you could use a part that comes with an ability and then use it for so often that you just gain the ability and you can mix and match it with other parts. Uh, essentially what you're doing in Gundam Breaker is you're kit bashing Gundam model kits together to make your own Gundams. You can design them, you can paint them, you can give them little special effects if you want to look like they have battle damage or chips or anything like that on there. And it, it's just such an awesome concept because I know a lot of people, well, a lot of people who are fans of Gundam would like to do things like that and have a little simulation like how they have here in Gundam Breaker. If you've seen any of the the uh, Gunpla animes that they have out there, the way it's done. It's almost like Yu-Gi-Oh, but with Gundam model kits. Well, I guess it's better just to show you more than explain it to you. So without further ado, let's get in the game. Oh, we're just gonna accept all of this without even reading it. We're full. Uh, May uh, game has many online play features so we recommend playing online would you like to connect online and start a game you connect online from lobby after yeah let's let's connect online sure all right so of course we're going to do a new game because we have not played it game just came out today which is the 28th of august for some reason i'm thinking it's september already uh i did get some add on content i'm gonna just leave that for now though we're going to go into a new game. We're going to enter our player name. It's not going to be Breakers. Oh, no. It's going to be. I don't even know if I can fit all of it in here. It will let me fit all of it in there. Very nice. Oh, look at this. It's like it's giving you a lobby to play in. It's an anime waifu on the screen over there. Welcome to GB4. Welcome to Gunpla Battle Blaze Beyond Borders. Also known as GB4. True born Atlas. You will now gain experience, collect parts, enhance your gunpla, and enrich your collection through battles in this world. First, go accept a mission at the counter in the middle of the lobby. Are you just gonna make me walk there? Okay, I could have just done it myself. Welcome. This is the GB4 mission desk. Yep. Oh, is this your first time playing? 
this game, yeah. Wonderful. Since you're new to the game, I'll give you a simple explanation of GB4's advanced battle simulator, part system, and mission. Wonderful. Everything in GB4 starts with choosing from our variety of interesting and exciting missions. Ooh. When deploying on missions, players can earn new parts by defeating enemies. You can then improve those parts to grow stronger over time. Make them better than what my enemies had them at. When first starting out, you huh. can only select story missions. Other mission types will become available as you progress. Wonderful. That's everything you need to know for now. Make sure to check the online manual if you have any further questions. Good luck. Well, all right then. Looks like there is a... Hey there. Gundam set up. <laughs> this your first time? Said that. Oh, it's an SD Gundam. Get away. Sorry to pop up out of nowhere. You were just sort of wandering around, so I figured you were new. Yeah. Yeah, I am. How dare you? Let's be rude to him. Hey, hey, I didn't mean anything by it. I swear. Yeah. So wait, you are a newbie though, right? I mean, yeah. Oh man, yeah, don't yeah. scare me like that. I'm Tao. I'm mostly an SD Gundam player, <laughs> as you can see. But I've been really getting into GP4. Nice. So you're new to the game? Nice to meet you. Uh, sure it is nice to meet me. Say, you want to do a mission together? Oh god. I can give you some advice, seeing as it's your first time. Uh, you can't it? say no, can I? Okay, let's do it. Uh, so, easy. For your first mission, let's just play through the tutorial level. Uh, it's super low they pretty much made it so anyone can clear it. All right. I'm ready whenever you are. Right now. Just like how my person's just motions. I mean, the whole storyline's like a uh, anime. Which is All right, more of a fun type of anime. The guide for now. And they're in I've English voices. Before, so take your time. Yeah, I should have gone to setting and done Japanese voices with English subtitles. No, we gotta do English. We gotta do Flog Dog. Doesn't know Japanese. I don't think he knows Japanese. He might. He threw some Chinese characters at me the other day. It really surprised me. Welcome to GB4 Tutorial Mission. Here you will learn about basic movement and attacks. Please follow the instructions on the screen. Proceed through the fields. Use L to move. Long press A while moving to boost. We made it. Guard, dodge, emergency, drop. There are a number of measures you can take to invade enemy actions. Guard will bring up your shield to block an attack. Blocking attack will reduce the damage taken. Additionally, it will prevent you from flinching or being knocked away. However, if you consecutively block attacks, your shield will be knocked away. You will not be able to guard anymore until the shield returns. Dodge allows you to move quickly to evade an attack. You will not receive an attack while you're moving quickly. Emergency Drop allows you to evade aerial follow-up attacks by dropping down rapidly from the air and landing. Okay, that's what that is. Dodges and Emergency Drops consume the thrust gauge and won't activate if there is not enough thruster gauge left. Additionally, dodges and emergency drops can be used to quickly set up your following actions, not just evade enemy attacks. Close it. Try performing the guard, dodge, and emergency drop actions. So, guard, 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 guard. We're guarding. Here we go. We're dodging. Apparently this is dodge. I gotta like press it. it. Said L left stick plus B. Just looks like me running with uh, 
a shield up. How do I do an emergency dodge? Um, doing L plus B. It's not letting me really do anything. All right, it doesn't let me perform dodge for whatever reason. Oh, you had to like double B it. It's not L, well, so it's L plus double B. And then double A while you're up there. Okay, you could really put that in the tutorial. Uh, the lock on camera mode continuously locks onto the same enemy. The camera will automatically orient itself to keep the locked on target in the middle of the screen. When you want to lock on to a different enemy, you can switch targets with R, R, left and right cycles, targets to the left or right, R, down cycles, targets to the closest enemy, and R, up cycles, target to the highest priority enemy. Try switching targets. Camera mode. There are two camera modes, lock on camera and player camera. The lock on camera will continue to lock on to the same enemy. The player camera will lock on to an enemy in the direction of the mobile suit it's facing. You can switch camera modes with up. You can switch camera modes at any time, but you also can go into the config screen and set which camera mode is initially used when starting a mission. While their behavior differ, there are no disadvantages or advantages to either. So set the camera to fit your own play style. Try switching to the player camera from the lock on camera. Switch, it's the player camera now. In the player camera, you will lock on to an enemy your mobile suit is facing. Try switching the locked on target. So it'll lock on to whichever one I'm facing. Next is basic attack controls. First, defeat the enemy with melee weapons. Using the close range weapon equipped to the right hand with Y, use X to attack with the close range weapon equipped to the left hand. Okay. Attack with a close range weapon. Yeah. We did it. Attack with long range weapon equipped to the right arm with right trigger. Attack with the long range weapon equipped to the left arm with the left trigger. The long range gauge can be found in the middle of the screen and is consumed when you attack. The long range gauge will automatically replenish after a certain period of time. Attack with a long range weapon. Just gonna fire out nowhere. In addition to the standard attacks that use close range and long range weapons, many have uh, long range weapons. Many of the parts and equipment you can find provide attacks in the form of OP skills, optional skills, and EX skills, extreme skills. Next attack without a weapon. OP skills are attacks from equipment parts. Activate them with the right button plus X, Y, A, B. All at once, or do you have them assigned? He has them assigned. Boom, so use the little machine gun cannons in our head to shoot. EX skills are powerful attacks. Activate them with the left button X, Y, A, B. Using EX skills consumes the EX gauge. I'll explain the EX gauge some more. First, attack with an EX skill. A uh, beam saber. Just a little double attack there. Defeat the enemies using a combination of weapons, OP skills, and EX skills. Move to the next area. I like that. That was a way to kind of like 
Give you that simulation vibe. Field mission unlocked. Tutorial mission. When done within a certain time frame, continuously hitting enemies increases the combo count, and killing enemies in succession increases the break streak. After this time frame expires, the combo and break streak will reset. Try attacking consecutively to continue the combo. When the combo or break streak reaches a certain number, you will obtain a bonus. A combo bonus grants a bonus that makes enemies easier to defeat, and a break streak bonus grants a bonus that benefits part collection. OP skills have a cooldown, and after an OP skill is activated, you will need to wait a certain amount of time before it can be used again. In order to maintain your hit combo, try using your OP skill as well. Keep up your hit combo by using a mix of close range, long range, and OP skills. The EX gauge must be consumed to activate EX skills. The EX gauge fills from actions like weapon attacks and destroying enemies. EX skills are used by consuming the EX gauge. Different EX skills consume different amounts of EX gauge. They can be activated consecutively if there is enough EX gauge remaining. Fight the enemy and fill up the EX gauge. Supposed to shoot. Oh, uh, looks like we are out of uh, range weapon. Hey, that was great. You actually did really good for someone who's never played before. Don't you play? Anyway, I have all for the tutorial. Don't you now get we can get into the real battle mission. Thinking I'm new. Oh, I'm not. Wait. Before that, you should a veteran here. Gunplay with the new parts you found. I'll explain how back in the lobby. <laughs> Cool little combo. Woo! We got achievements. Saber clear, clear mission with a saber type weapon. Rifle clear, clear mission with a rifle type weapon. Are you some sort of new type? <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm a new type. Oh, it looks just like uh, Gundam Breaker 3 the way it's set up here. Doesn't give you a time limit though, so you can just look at them all you want. What do we wind up getting? We got the beam spray gun from a gym, a beam rifle from Gundam ground type, which looks like has better left long range capacity. And then three of those, which we can combine those three together to make it stronger. And then we get a gym head, another gym head, which is slightly stronger than that other gym head. The abilities can differ too, depending on like which ones you get. Uh, Gundam ground type body. Right arm. Oh, they're doing right and left arms. Okay. That's cool. You can change them instead of just doing it as one. And a left arm for a GM. And then GM customs legs. Shield, no plastics. All right, we're good. Let's check all me. Break combo, Meister executed in all S. Break combo, my first rank S. Just got four achievements just from doing that. I can't refund nice the game. Work. It was just the tutorial, but you did well. You've got good instincts, newbie. What you call me? Next, you should try customizing your gunpla. You can use the items and parts you find on missions to modify your gunpla using the My Room menu. A box will pop up explaining more the first time you use your room, so read that to learn how it works. Let's get to customizing do. then. Get in there and make your gunpla cool. Uh, 
It's gonna be better than your little SD Gundam, that's for sure. You can use parts obtained throughout missions and such to customize your mobile suit. Give it a try. Select assembly and change the mobile suit parts. Shambly. Switch to the right arm parts tab. Okay. Select the Zaku 2 part. Okay. Select equip. Right arm was changed to a Zaku 2 part. Not only will you be able to combine different mobile suit parts together, you can also equip weapons and EX slash OP skills in assembly. Is that all you're gonna have me do? Because I would have liked to actually customize my thing. Ooh, those are some nice parts. Looking it's just one part. Already. Why'd you say parts? It's just one. In GB4, each mission helps you earn more parts. Yeah. Then you can use those parts to improve your build. Cool. The more missions you play, the more parts you earn, and the stronger you get. The customization is half the fun. That's all the fun for me. And there are all kinds of missions to try. Story missions, quests, bounties. Bounties. Oh, and there are special limited time events too. So there's always something to try. <laughs> At a time events, you say. Just keep doing the story missions for now, and additional types will unlock as you progress. Limited oh, edition sorry. types, you say. I was babbling. Limited edition I just types. Really like seeing people get into GB4. You say. Since you're new, I should probably explain the lobby before we get into anything else. You don't have to. Oh, he's going to anyways. The lobby has desks for the different kinds of missions, uh -huh. monitors to see the latest news and rankings, and shops where you can buy stuff. Ooh. You should walk around and check them out. There are lots of players here too, so you can talk to them if you're feeling sociable. I'm not. Anyway, that's the quick rundown on everything. Think you're ready to get started? Yeah. Great. Then I guess it's time for your first official mission. You can be the leader for this one, so, you know, you get a chance to learn the ropes. I'm ready whenever you are. Just head to the mission desk over there and accept the first story mission when you're good to go. Yeah, I'll make sure to do I'll that. Be waiting. You do that. You wait. I'll be over there any, any minute now. Bonus content unlocked. Unlock the following mobile suit parts in diorama mode Gunpla. HG Gundam. Is it rec recirculation color? Acquired the following builder parts. V-shaped blade antenna, Ryoko Tyron phase, manipulator arms right and left, horn right and left. Bonus content unlocked. Unlock following mobile suit parts in diorama mode Gunpla. HG Gun Barrel Strike Gundam, Gundam Breaker version, HG High Mobility Gun Barrel Strike Gundam, Gundam Breaker version, HG Assault Gun Barrel Strike Gundam, Gundam Breaker version, and HG Support Gun Barrel Strike Gundam, Gundam Breaker version. Bonus content. Work panel. Unlock the following diorama backgrounds. Those ones. Bonus contact. Unlock more. The following mobile suit part sets. HG Gundam Mach 2, HG Double Zeta, HG Unicorn, HG Victory, HG Shining, HG Wing, HG Gundam X, HG Turn A, HG Allied Strike, HG Force Impulse, HG Gundam Xia, HG Gundam H1 Normal, HG Gundam G Self Atmospheric Escape Pack, HG Gundam Barbados First Form, and Gundam Aerial. Talk to the red concierge at the lobby counter to select the next mission to deploy. Can I move by myself? I have mail apparently too. What's up? Mailbox. About Messenger. While playing, you may receive messages from game admins, other users, or characters from the game story. When you receive a new message, the message icon will be displayed in the lobby menu, along with a notification sound. Messages can include in-game announcements, friends-slash-clan invites, messages from characters, and much more. 
You also receive event notifications and results for obtaining rewards. Gained a new title. Gained a new title, Combo Sergeant. Now everyone can know, I'm a Combo Sergeant. Let's go back in here. I wanna redesign my Gundam. Maru. Yeah, we, we did this already. Huh? Assembly. Mobile suit performance. You can check your overall stats calculated from all parts in total specs tab. If you want to check the properties of a particular part, you can do so from specs. Cool. How do I combine parts? Do you let me do that from here? I go back. Paint, blueprint. Blueprint. Blueprint got. You can save, load, edit and the name of and upload customized mobile suits to the gallery from Blueprint. Cool. So if I wanted to put my guy there, I can put him there. I was hoping I would be able to... combine the parts maybe they don't let me do that i probably have to get further into the game before i can or if i just, just equip equip default label yeah let's see if i can make a gondom we got these ones here for dlc so i could make one of them like fully. Gundam Mach 2, Double Zeta, Unicorn, Gun Barrel Strike Gundam, uh, Gundam with uh, recirculation color, Victory Gundam, you can make Shining Gundam, Wing Gundam, Gundam X, Turn A Gundam, Ally Strike Gundam, Force Impulse Gundam Exia, Gundam Age 1 Normal, Gundam G Self, Gundam Barbados 4th Form, in Gundam Ariel, which is the newest from uh, Mercury. I think I might go with Shining Gundam as the first, though. Even though I like Universal Sentry, I was a big fan of G Gundam. And I hope they have more than just like Burning Gundam, Shining Gundam, and Master Gundam. So, keeping my fingers crossed, we come across more than just them. Oh, they'll probably have Noble Gundam, too. Equip. Let's go over here. And yeah, shining Gundam. Equip. We're gonna be not boring about it. We're not gonna. I oh, know we are gonna be boring about it. We're gonna stick to just uh, one Gundam type instead of mix and matching for now, because this is just gonna be the first mission, and I want to do um a blueprint that has them in there and then kind of like upgrade from there. Let's go. Cast it. Backpack. Skill has been removed. That's fine. Remove that skill. Rifles are a weapon type that excel at average stable attacks. They can be easily cancelled, making rifle attacks extremely easy. It's a link to EX skill, OP skills, and other weapon combos. The only thing is, is that... The, uh... Shining Gundam didn't have... A range weapon. Remove. No, uh, we're not gonna do any of that. Okay, so it's only gonna let me use that I can't use my fists. So I have to take a beam saber with me. So if I gotta take a beam saber with me, 
then I'm gonna have a shield, I'm gonna have a gun. And, uh... That's just that. Let's pick, which one do we want to do? So this is what we had originally. What's better? Anything with better specs? We seem to have better specs. And everything's just a beam rifle except for this, which is the hyper bazooka. And then a Gatling auto cannon. I guess I'll just take one of these. Uh, nothing for the left because we got the shield. Then these all look to be about the same. Does it actually show me? That's what I was looking for. This one comes with different abilities. So we'll do that. of them OP has got uh, got a shield toss with this one shield combo trying to get one with uh, an OP on it and then uh, gun bit oh this one's got a missile launcher eye field beam cannon comes out of that one beam saber from this one Let's go with the missile launcher. Uh, we do have optional parts and things that we can equip. That's just kind of like cosmetic based. Oh no, it does give you an EX skill. That'll give you gun barrel. That'll give you manipulator. Uh, that's it. Just have like a Voltron looking face on the front. good on that. There it goes from your shining finger. The attack power of EX and OP skills is dependent on weapon attack power. When weapons are equipped to both arms, the average attack power of the left and right arm weapons is the skill attack power. Cool. Uh, beam sword. And then super mode. And OP skills. Tip two shining shots. I already got the head Vulcan. Machine cannon. And, uh, missile launcher. She gonna switch that. So launcher and head Vulcan can be right there. All right, we're good to go. This blueprint. I delete that one. Put this one on here. Load, save, delete, enter mobile suit name. Just put, put what it is. Just one end, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, 
Uh, Shining Gundam. Uh, work to go. I could paint it. Not going to. Choosing not to paint it. Just gonna walk around. Gorgeous. Eh, I'm not gonna bother talking to any of these people. This counter is to accept various missions, ranging from story missions to quests where you can find exciting and diverse battles. Progressing through this game will increase the types of missions available to you. If you are connected to an online multiplayer lobby, you can designate either solo play or multiplayer when selecting a mission. This is the mission desk. Reminds me a bit of uh, Monster Hunter, the way those missions are set up. Welcome to this is the mission desk. Would you like to take on a mission today? Yeah, yeah, what? Story missions and original game scenario will unfold as you progress various game functions. You'll unlock and oh, you, uh, various game functions will unlock and the wingmen you can choose increase. You can also obtain gunpla parts and upgrade materials throughout the story or throughout story mode through story mode. Meh. So try that first. Depending on the situation, you can choose from multiple missions the order to take them on in and choose which wingmen you will be deployed. Parts, mobile gin, three tube guide missile launcher. Get some build parts here too. Breaker booster, ETC, what's that? Let's go with the mission oh. with a mission accepted follow the guide and hold the input what guide all right there at the top clan battle that's all I heard good you accepted your next mission pretty easy right Keep this up and you'll be a pro in no time. Yep, that's me. Real pro. Let's deploy right away. You'll be fine as long as you remember what you learned in the tutorial. Woo! Launched out of a spaceship. Wait, I forgot everything. All right, your first real mission. We just have to defeat each wave of enemies, same as last time. Pretty simple. Sure. Try practicing how to continue a hit combo in a fight. Attack enemies nearby to ensure you don't drop your hit combo. Keep your high hit combo going in a fight by attacking enemies at a distance with long range attacks. Stringing combos against high HP enemies. Though uh, tough and strong enemies with high HP will appear during battles, fighting them will allow you to easily string together a big hit combo, but your break combo will be stopped. To keep your break combo up, try changing up the order of the enemies you attack. Oh yeah, missiles. In order to maintain your hit combo and break combo during a fight, try using your OP or EX skills when the situation calls for it. Ooh, got an S on the wave one. On to the next wave. Or oh, was that it? 
Another wave. We're in a city this Once time. Once we clear these guys, it's time for the boss fight. I can't wait. Wait. What's that? Is someone else here already? Can you join an in-progress battle in this mode? Oh man, they're getting stomped. What should we do, buddy? Uh, you really want to go help them? Seriously? All right. If you're sure, I'm right behind you. Yeah. Oh, shiny finger. person looks messed up you having a rough time there bud oof i could do without the attitude jerk huh? you're a girl I like this girl Obviously, she knows that guy's a jerk a late lending a hand you know uh i don't think that's any way to talk to the people who just helped you oh come on i saw how hard you had to think about it before coming over to help uh, you saw that another move i guess you did eventually do the right thing though which means I owe you. So, thanks. I'm Lin. You're Tao? I guess you guys aren't all bad. Don't want to say mine? Is want to give it a shot? GB4? Try it. You can pronounce yeah, it. I'm still getting a hang of the controls and everything. Just gotta use your words. Is this your first mission too? Oh, no. I've been playing for a while. It's his first time though. And just let everybody know that, huh? experience, so I'll take point. Try to keep up. The boss fight is next. Bosses can be pretty huge, so don't be scared. Here we go. Is he always this cocky? Yeah, that guy's a real jerk. It's a Gundam. It's a big Gundam. Oops. Giant bosses may appear at the end of some missions. Battles against giant bosses have different qualities compared to other enemies. After attacking, a breakpoint may appear for parts that can be destroyed. Aiming for a breakpoint allows you to deal damage effectively. Additionally, destroying all breakpoints will temporarily down the enemy. Some enemies will deploy a barrier during a battle. When a barrier is deployed, a gauge appears at the top of the screen. You must damage the barrier until the gauge is reduced to zero before the enemy can be damaged once again. Whoa, I didn't think it'd be that big. Back away from that. It's going down. realize I ran out of uh Let's do this. Let's transform. Yeah. 
He's doomed. Oh, thank goodness. That was close. Schwind to super mode. Went all crazy on him. Build okay, parts. Right. Sort of new type? Boy, I can't wait till I can replace you. When you clear a mission, you'll receive an overall rating based on the wave results. The amount of GP you receive will depend on your overall rating. If you achieve the S rank, you'll be able to receive an additional part equipment for a mobile suit set by the mission. Parts and items received during missions as a reward or as rewards can be checked in the list. Clearing a mission with a rank S result will award you with a breaker booster. Using a breaker booster will, while selecting a mission will grant effects such as increasing number of item drops and increased level limit for drop parts in that mission. Parts obtained through a breaker booster's effect will show a special icon. Cool. We have credits now. We did great. And wonderful and amazing we got a new weapon type that's got a three-star rarity axes have the highest attack power among close-range weapons and excel at attacking solo enemies additionally along pressing the attack input with an axe performs a more powerful charge up attack there are three levels to the charge up attack Axe attack example three level charge up attack long press attack input changes by input time Wow level two And it gives us weapon skill axe uh, We get a beam gun old beamy beam gun We got force impulse Gundam's face which has a two-star rarity uh, we got some right arms. Gundam, her gunner, Zaku Warrior. Genju Jagdoga. It was funnel as a EX and missile launcher. Mobile Jin. Level 3 rarity. Oh, this is one that we got by completing the mission. 3 star rarity. Uh, left arm for a GM3. And for a Horizon Giraduga. We got some legs for Gym 3. And Gunji Jaradoga. Beam Saber with Heat Knife OP skill. Large Missile Launcher. Nice. Giradoga. Doesn't really have much of anything. Has abilities. Shield, the Jigan, Jigan. All right, let's go. Oh no, I don't want to sell that. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't check it. Let's just go to next. Work you do? That was rough, but it sure was fun. Was it? Was it fun for you? That boss was a curveball, but we pulled it off. Sure did. We? You talk a big game, but all you did was run away. I it's thought you said you'd played already. I'm sure, you lost your head during that fight. Uh. Okay, you're right. It's true. I've been logging into GB4 for a while, but that uh was actually my first multiplayer mission. I'm not the best at battling, and I was too scared to make my own team or join some other clan, and... Uh... If you were an SD Gundam. So you're basically a beginner too? Listen, you guys, I'm sorry. I was acting like I knew what I was talking about. Can you forgive me? Nope, gonna hold it against you for life now. Oh, thanks. You really did great, though. In that case, maybe the three of us should do another mission sometime. 
If we're all new, we can learn together. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, hey. Uh -huh. Why don't we make a clan? Let's not do that. A clan? What's that? Sounds like a good thing. Oh, they're great. It's when you form a team of people who all play together. They group up for missions and events and stuff. Sure, I guess that sounds pretty handy. Hold on, let me take a look. She googled clan in the uh, okay. search. Okay, I sent you both friend requests. Now you add me. Oh. Okay, I guess she was okay with what yeah. she saw. Now you can message me the next time you go on a mission. And thanks again for today. She does have blue eyes, it makes sense. Imagine not natural pink hair, probably blonde. Whoa! She really doesn't stick around, does she? No, yeah, well, when you're here, I wouldn't want to stick around either. Enter our clan name. Oh, boy. This clan name is the name of the clan that teams up with Tao in the story missions within the game world and is treated separately from the clans that players form and network. So, Breakers sounds great. That's that's the name that we're going to go with. It's Breakers. New feature unlocked. You can now use galleries in my room. New feature unlocked. You can now take photographs in my room. Uh, the menu options, following items, my room, messenger, profile card, play guide, config, return to title. You can open these anytime when you're in the lobby. The use of messenger and editing for profile card is only available through this menu. You can equip close range and long range weapons to your left and right hands. However, the close range greatsword and melee weapons must be equipped to only one hand. Message. Oh, there's a lot of things here now. Ah, uh, photographs unlocked. The new photograph feature has been unlocked. Pose your gun plus, set a background, and snap photos with easy controls. Photos are saved to a private gallery and can be uploaded to the public if you want. You can select this from my room of a photograph. Please give it a try. A new Gunpla box is here. A new Gunpla box has arrived in the shop. They can be purchased by exchanging GP at the shop. You may be able to get the Gunpla from the shop you couldn't obtain in battle missions. New items are introduced to the shop every time you clear a new mission, so you should check it out. Clans unlocked. The new clans feature has been unlocked. You can create your own clan or join an existing one. After joining a clan, you can enter the clan room and use the item box to exchange items with other members. This can be selected from a multiplayer desk in the lobby. Please give it a try. Internet connection required. New builder parts are here. New builder parts have arrived in the shop. They can be purchased by exchanging GP at the shop. Builder parts allow you to use special skills and change the look of your gunpla. New items are introduced to the shop every time you clear a new mission, so you should check it out. About paint, don't huff it. Or do, don't let me tell you what to do. The color of each part of a gunpla can be changed. Decals and weathering can also be applied. This can be selected from paint in my room. Please give it a try. Tao's writing us. That was great. I only ever played by myself before, so that was really fun. The game feels way better when you have some friends along. I may lack combat experience, but I know a ton about gunpla designs and tactics. I think we can make a great team. I'll go select another beginner mission. I hope you're looking forward to it. I'm not. I'm not looking forward to it at all. Thanks again. By Lynn. Sorry if I was a little rude when you and Tao first ran into me. That was my first mission, and I wasn't doing too great in my own. I'm lucky you two showed up when you did. I had fun. 
though we should meet up for some more missions sometimes, okay? See you then! Gallery unlocked. The new gallery feature has been unlocked. You can view images taken in photograph mode and Gumpla blueprints that you've created. You can also upload images and open them up for other players to view. Other players' galleries can be viewed through their profile cards. This can be selected from a gallery in my room. Please give it a try. About friends. Who needs them? Oh. Uh, use the friend codes of players you meet in the lobby to send them friend requests. This can be selected from the multiplayer desk in the lobby. Please give it a try. Internet connection required. There we go. Our mill is done. Is there actually any like real players wandering around here? Like this is the lobby. But I'm pretty sure like the ones that are kind of just standing around here are just NPCs. event gallery and maybe we'll just focus on doing the story and then at some point get into a multiplayer section what's with this huh can I put mine in there uh, about gun plus statue the life-size gun plus statue displayed in the lobby are for mobile suits that achieve such feats as reaching rank 1 or becoming GB4 champion. In the online multiplayer lobby, the host player's mobile suit is displayed. You can change the display mobile suit or its pose through the control panel. Selectable mobile suits are the player's mobile suit, mobile suits that appear in story missions, and multiplayer wingmen. Mobile suits set to be displayed are saved, but the settings for online multiplayer lobbies won't be saved. Meister Gun Gundam Superstorm? Explanation Meister Jin's mobile suit kit. Or mobile suit. Can I pick one? Let's just pick mine. Exhibit your own Gunpla statue in the lobby. Take that. Fighting. Fighting pose again. What fighting pose is this? Right arm weapon stance. Actually, show the awakened side. Glass shooting, Shinjun, Rose, Hurricane, Moonbeam, Butterfly. Oh, so does that mean that I will find. Shining Finger here anywhere? No? Let's just do that stance then. No weapon, no shield. Alright. So yeah, no actual players. I mean, I guess if I do that, I can connect to it. Do I want to do that, though? Who cares? Where's the store? They mentioned something about a store. You go to my profile card. You can open this by getting near the Gunpla avatar in the lobby or from the ranking list. You can check a player's current play stats, Gunpla data, their favorite Gundam series, or personal messages. Additionally, you can give players a good build, send a friend request, or clan invite from the profile card, and view the player's gallery. 
You can edit your own profile card from the lobby menu in addition to changing the player's name once every 30 days. You can change icons, set your favorite Gundam series, or leave personalized message for other players. There are several types of player icons you can choose from, and they can be purchased from the shop or unlocked by progressing through the game. You can choose your Gunpla icon from your Gunpla head parts icon. You can choose your emblem icon from the emblems you own. Please be aware that you cannot edit your profile card while in the multiplayer lobby. Set up my profile card. Let's see which other ones they have. Gunpla icons. Let's just do Shining Gundam. And then these different emblems, which don't, don't care really about them at all. I mean, I could go with a red Xeon. Unit oh, yeah, I could do the King of Hearts Wear a combo sergeant Wear no fledgling Favorite Gundam series. Do we get to put it in there? A mobile suit Gundam. Yes, the first. Um. Go with Z. And charge counter attack is pretty good. I never finished all the double Zeta. Mobile suit Gundam Hathaway. Actually, what's on Netflix? Not a fan of Seed or any of these. The Gunpla Builder series are pretty good. Not a fan of SD Gundams. All Gundams. Where's G Gundam? There it is. Oop. Message. Happy to be here. I'm confident in battle. Like to customize gunpla. And I like playing solo. There we go. And there's my friend code just out there for everybody. If you're into the game, get that friend codes right there. You just send me a friend request. Go for it. Maybe I'll respond. Alright. Let's go back. Let's go do some changes. I want that axe. I want fists is what I actually want. But we don't have that. Shambly. Yep. Uh, out of dual wield, each hand can be equipped with a one-handed weapon. Select parts from each tab during assembly and equip. Thank you. Inherit abilities are additional effects Inherit to each part. Inherit abilities include effects that boost stats and more. Can I now combine parts? Will you let me do that? Because I don't think you will. It's level 2. I feel like we have to equip it. Gives us more HP if we do. Reaction speed increased. HP goes up by 500. Reaction speed performance level 3, HP recovery when parts lost, awake and gauge increased performance. Yeah. Let's equip. Just keep my body where it's at. Big old red gunner Zaku. A 
That's right, because we got Mobile Jin, which has a high rarity. Doesn't really do much. And the uh, sense of like abilities and stuff, but these are level two. So something tells me I should probably be equipping one of these guys. This one will give me tackle. This one will give me funnels. Funnels could be fun. The left arm. Don't need to equip any of these. Really wish it would let me edit my parts, but for now it's not gonna let me. Maybe later. Oh, level two legs. Movement speed goes down eight, HP goes up. Yeah, part of the fun of this game is just like building everything. You can build some just ridiculous stuff. Save us. We, we talked about savers already. We don't want that, though. We want the Heat Hawk. The same Heat Hawk. Long range resistance goes down. So we'll just check out specs on the shields. It is kind of looking like one of these is gonna win. More resistance to everything, with the exception of long range resistance. Ah, I'll just leave it as is. Build parts, we understand how that works. What did we recently get? We got this stuff. Which, yeah, it's supposed to go on your feet and allow you to shoot out missiles. But I'm gonna leave it as is. Back, back, apply changes. Let's go paint. You can set the color of parts and apply decals and paint. You can also set various patterns, textures, and stains. In addition to adjusting the color, parts have separate color areas, so it's easy to change colors. Uh, is there a... everything? Now you gotta make me do it to, uh... Here, select all parts. Preset colors this is what I want to see. So there's the burning Gundam colors, so I can actually get it to do that. But this isn't burning Gundam that we're really using as much as it is shining. Char as the Balzaku colors. What is it? Dara Blade, Dom, GMs, Golf, Gun Cannon, Gundam, Gundam Aerial, Gundam G Self Atmosphere Pack. Gundam Mach 2, Gundam Mach 2 Titans, Gun Tank, Ayakushiki, give it that gold finish, Infinite Justice Gundam, Knight Gundam, Master Gundam, Mobile Jin, Ushu Gundam, oh is he in this one? Super Hangin version though. New Gundam, uh, Sazabi, Strike Freedom, Zaku in Zeta. Yeah, 
so it gives us burning, doesn't give us shining. But I like this Azabi color, so I think we'll go with that. Including my shield. Very good. That is my Gundam. Uh, no weathering, no decals. No, no, nothing like that's needed. Apply. Surprise, it didn't give me an achievement for doing that. Oh, I forgot to do like EX uh, attacks and OP stuff. I lost some of those. So, which ones do we want to go with now? Here we go. What oh, this is. Get away. Uh, funnels. And that's it. Just those. Gonna go over here. Go away. Now we got shining shot already, machine cannons already there. Two different types of missile launchers. So we'll put this one there. There's five. Oh, beam saber with heat knife. Do this instead. And put missile launcher here. Now we're good to go. Boom. And there we go. We had it. The mix and match portion of the game. I do gotta say, I kinda actually do enjoy the uh, left and right arm. Though with Gundam Breaker 3, they had a thing where you had like a frame and you could choose like attack type, defense type, mobility type, things like that. And it would kind of like alter your stats and stuff of that nature. But yeah, it's looking good. And I'm liking the game. The combat still feels the same. Getting the part still feels the same. I think as I progress with the story, I'm going to see where I can actually edit and merge parts and things like that. So. We'll, uh, we'll continue to play and see what happens. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Gundam Breaker 4. Goodbye.